hi guys! This time I'm gonna do something new. Actually, I'm gonna try something new because Channel 4 is hosting this New Year Evolution thing. If you want to know more about it, you can go down in the description bar or box or whatever. And uh, there will be a link there and you can read there because I'm not gonna try to explain it that much. I'm not gonna be able to do it every day though, but I'm gonna try to complete as many of my challenges as possible. And today's challenge was called the eye opener and uh, basically you're supposed to buy a magazine that you wouldn't normally buy like something totally opposite of what you'd buy and um, you're gonna read it. Either way I got this magazine for free and it's called Road and Track Wicked Fast so I'm gonna read that one now because I don't know anything about cars and it probably wouldn't be my first choice this is what the cover looks like. I've already scrolled through it a bit and I realized that I don't really understand much because I don't understand anything about cars and uh, there's just a whole bu bunch of like technical terms. Uh, but what I did find interesting was the commercials, um, the way they try to sell these cars. It's this car by the ocean um, and there's this little text and I'm gonna read it to you. It can help you hitch the trailer. It can tow the boat with ease, it can seat seven adults and their gear, but it can't make the fish bits. Wait, what? And at first this sounded like really, really <laughs> stupid to me, because why would a car make fish bits? Um, it just like made no sense. But then I realized when I, you know, enhanced ooh, the picture, it actually doesn't say bits, it says but it can't make the fish bite. When you make this text really small, it looked like an S, and I was so confused over this. So I'm guessing that you're supposed to buy this car if you like fishing, or if you just like fish bits a lot. And then this one just confused me so much. Obsession either drives you insane, or, it, or you just let it drive you. And then there's a whole bunch of tiny little text that I'm not gonna read, but what I think is interesting is this. Oh. Poor guy! I really do hope that this is photoshopped because otherwise, imagine all the trouble he must have gone through trying to stand on that thing. I really do hope that it's photoshopped. I can't imagine how anyone could be that content while standing on a tire wearing one of those jackets. I just... What are they, what are they trying to tell us with this? I, I don't get it. Then, uh, my favorite part of this magazine is this. Look at these people! I mean, what is that? <laughs> what is that? Like, I understand these, these are all really, like, strange people dressed up, but that is not even a person. Look, it's, it's like someone took a gremlin and put it in a little dress and put makeup on it, and it, n now it's expected to drive a car. Like, can you imagine the little gremlin trying to drive any of these cars? Flashy cars, doo 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 doo. Flashy cars, doo 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 doo. So, what can I say? I haven't really learned anything new about cars except that they're marketed really strange. Yeah, that was it for today. I'll see you guys soon, I guess. And uh, roll the outro or whatever. But um, but um, but um. Badum, 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 badum. There's a flashy, flashy car on this page. There's a flashy, flashy car on this page. And there's a woman posing inside. And a gremlin with makeup is trying to drive. Flashy cars on each flashy page